Sam from Good Housekeeping. I'm here with Ivan from Olufika, and we are at Cosmoprof in Las Vegas. So this is our hair model, Margo. We're gonna show you guys how to get three really wonderful styles for the summer, and so that way you can get all your hair off your neck when it's really, really hot and you're all like sweaty and gross. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So we are going to begin basically with a braid. It's a very uh, organic braid that we are going to do, that you can even uh, do it if you are in the beach or you are in the pool and you want to look like the sexy, but you know, fashion, but you don't have to worry too much about the hair. So that, that's the, thing, the kind of braid that we are going to do. It's more like a bohemian style, like that. We're going to use a little bit of the styling cream from Abulifica and a serum, because we want to have that kind of control in the hair and control the frizziness. So this product moisturizes the hair at the same time. So I begin like putting it in my hands as a hand cream and I, I go directly to the small hair in the front. So I want to control all the fly away and the frizziness. And then I just put the product all over the hair. And that way we are going to have more shine and control and you control all that you know, frizzy and goofy hair. And that's basically the prep. This is very important part because you want to have full control of the sectionings and the, the whole style. So then, Mary wants to know, what did you just use? You... I used uh, Oblifica styling cream and the serum. I used the orange line because we want to keep the body. The body. <coughs> so we are going to make like a braid here. And we are going to do it in a very organic way, so we are not going to do it perfectly. So we are going to take one piece here, then we are going to add to the center. We don't want to be perfect, so I'm going to take, in some occasions, small section to the center, and in some occasion, we are going to take like a bigger section. <coughs> God bless you. And we are going just to keep it because we have product on the hands we're still controlling the section a little bit and we are controlling the the whole hair so we are doing like a braid but i said some section will be adding like small one and some of them will be like a bigger one and that make the the braid a little bit more asymmetric and not so perfect Yes, and we're still adding. Don't worry too much about if you have some hair, like you lost a little bit of the hair or something, don't worry about that. Because that's part of the organic feeling. So it looks a little more natural when it's... It looks more natural if it's a little bit more loose, yes. And uh, would this style work for curly hair? Yes, beautiful, okay. yeah. Like this. Christine wants to know, do you think that someone with shorter shoulder length hair could do this? It's a medium length, you can do it, but if it's too short, of course not. So this is more like for longer hair. Okay. Right. And you can still add in hair. Because they had she have like a beautiful wave that Angel did. I don't want to braid that. So we are going to do a little bit more asymmetric. And then in this corner, we are going to st still like adding to the center. So I take like bigger section and add it to the center. And this is the part that gets fun because you can take pieces from the top and not from the bottom and you can add her to the center again but have it like a little bit loose so and then you can grab the bottom area if you want it and add it to the center so Michelle wants to know what is the best way to preserve the hairstyle so it'll last like overnight or you know throughout the day 
is uh, basically is the product. If you have a good product, um, you will have that memory that you need. <laughs> right now, I'm adding and I am changing. I take some pieces under, so I am not grabbing more from here. I stir some pieces under and put it in the center. And I begin to work here like more like an organic filling, like more like a row, you see? Yeah. So you can even add then this in the center here. And then you begin to braid this in a very irregular way. So don't still break it just in three. You can take just one part of the hair like this and go into the center and then take a half of this one and go to the center so in that way you have like smaller section going to the center but you are going to have no regular three piece uh, braid you will have like just taking the corner to the center and you don't need with this kind of uh, braiding you probably would, would not need any like uh, rubber bands or something like that because these are going to be like more irregular and just like that you see like I'm um, some of them will be trees some of them will be just the corner and I changed the the technique of how I braid it so in that way you have like a more organic way and then you can just take a little bit of the point in the end and you can even do it like this so it's like a little bit like a tissue and then break this a little bit. Breaking it, yeah, just breaking it as a more organic filling. And as you, as you can see, we are not using even any uh, rubber band. Is there a specific name for this kind of braid or? This is more like a, a little bit like a bohemian style braid. Wants you to know that it's brilliant and it looks beautiful. Thank you, Katty. See? And you can still have in the wave here in the front. There. And then just break it up a little bit. Like, break it. As more you break it, as beautiful it will look. So, as more messy, as better. So, if you are in the beach or you're in the pool, you don't have to worry too much about the perfections. You, want, you are worried more about the feeling of the braid. Any other question in that group? So actually, Shanna wants to know, how did you, could you explain again how you made it stick without uh, a hair tie? Basically, what you do is change the technique. If you are doing three braid a piece, you just take the corner of that one of the pieces to, and put it on the center. You don't use the same the whole section. So instead of putting holding the whole section to the center, you just take just a piece of that and put it on the center, a piece of the corner and put it on the center, and then you do three, and then do the piece, and then do three, and then you change the technique, and that make the hair like a little bit more like a knot, and then you can just take one of the smaller section and grab the rest and put it up and that help you to like tease a little bit that hair and when you tease that hair a little bit the hair will stay there so basically that is it's a very like uh, simple technique that will help you to break the braid a little bit and have that texture so you have that kind of texture this could be a very simple technique that look very beautiful I will use the, the multitask spray just to just to hold a little bit some of that hair. And Jana says camera. she has beautiful hair and the braid is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you can just have it like this. If you wanted to have it like for more like formal or wedding or something, you can wear this kind of braid but then you can have like a little bit more perfect. This one is more like casual, and when you're like in the summer or you had having fun with your friends, this is the kind of braid that looks like better because it looks like more informal, you see? So yeah. in the side you have the wave and you have like the knots here and knots here around. So it's yeah. like a little bit more like asymmetric. 
Amazing. Okay, cool. So the next style, Angel. Oh. All right, wonderful. So Angel uh, helped me with that design and tell me that uh, he told me that we can do like a like a more like a bob. Okay. So you know that when you are like in the, this kind of style, like the red carpet Hollywood, you know, that the model of the, the artists had like a long hair, but they they look like short, and they are asking me all the time, oh, how they did it. So it's very simple. I will show you immediately. Basically, what we are going to do is that you just grab some pieces, like big pieces, like this. So you don't have to worry too much about, you know, the sectioning, but you just take like vertical sectioning and you begin just by grabbing one of that sectioning. Let some of the hair, you can even let some of the hair out if you want it. But in this case, you have like short hair in the front because you have layers. So we can use that. We can use it and we can just let that hair, that piece like just float in there. And then I just grab this area and you just put it like this. Very simple. And then uh, you just grab it inside with a bobby pin like this. And just hold her there so we're essentially making a bob even though her hair is really long yeah and basically what we do what we did is just with you see mm -hmm. we just grab the hair there and just place it and then just move the hair like this yes. depending on the, on the shape that you want to as higher lower asymmetric it's all you depending on what you want so I take another vertical section, I grab the hair again, all under, like if I am doing like a roll, like, like a, like a basic, basic, like a setting. And then if I have a lot of hair, like she have a lot of hair. So I grab like bigger bobby pins because it's easier. I go to the base and I just clip it there. I normally use two because it's not really the hair would fall, so I don't want that. Again, then you can reshape it. So you pull it out kind of to make it look more natural. Yeah. Essentially that is that is that that's the idea. You can have it like more like clean like this, but you can have it like a little bit more messy, which look, look good too. Even you can have it into if you want to, you know, you have time and you you can handle it better. You can divide this in two. And then you can uh, work with this part first. And then you can use the second part, which is the top part, and you place it under. That's another option. But for regular customer that they are in their home, it's difficult to do that like in double pieces. So I normally recommend to do it in just one big piece okay. because it's easier. At, at the end, the final result, would be basically the same. So do you recommend using uh, bobby pins that are the same color as the client's hair? Yes, because if you use another color, but you have to blend with the, with the color that you have. If you don't blend with the color that you have, then you, the bobby pin will show a little bit more. Because I am placing this under, and you probably doesn't look what kind of color I'm using. So you don't have to worry that much. But we normally recommend that you use the bobby pin, you know, depending on the color of your hair. Do you have a size or brand of bobby pin that you like most? Oh, you know what? I normally don't have that kind of, uh, some of them, they are very bad. So <laughs> it's, you have just to try it because some of them, even they look that the same, they're not. In some occasion when you grab it in the hair, the bobby pin like stay like like open and and then you cannot reuse it so you always try to find out you know we have, you have to test there's so many brands that you have to test the one that really work with it for you i'm almost finishing to the front of the hair it looks beautiful you see i try to let like natural wave 
and I can still like working diamond. Margo, have you ever had short hair before? <laughs> Never. <laughs> so this is pretty different for you? Yes, yeah, very different. <laughs> Perfect. Angel Rosario is one of my, uh, my, my partners when we are working together <laughs> and normally he helped me and we work together on shows now. So you're still working with this? This is a, you can even let this air like this piece like that, like very asymmetric. If he's, if the client have like shorter hair here, like more layer, I will do that. In this case, because it's too long, probably I would just grab it. But okay. this part, you can grab it as this, as the other side, just under, and you just, and you can just grab it under here, or even you can braid it a little bit, like or twist it, like like this a little bit, and you can even grab it like under, but more in the back, or even you can go like this and just wrap it inside here. So you can do different kind of hairstyle so it's all dependent of your taste so this is like more the personalized you know you are personalizing this area as, as your so would this be a good style for like a wedding or you know for a bridesmaid or a bride this look amazing on bride and you can even uh, decorate it with natural flowers oh yeah putting flowers in it would be perfect. yeah gorgeous so so For then, those of you just tuning in, Margot is going from super long to a bob for the summer just using bobby pins. And then this is another trick. If you have a like piece like this and you want like to uh, hide this piece, you can place the bobby pin like this, just in the, in the sectioning. And then you can just put it under any place you want it and just Tuck erase it. it. In. Yes. Gorgeous. And then you have like a like a short version of the, it's like a bob, like a, a little bit long bob. That yeah. look almost like when you are like you know this kind of style that you see on hairstyle on on red carpet and everything. It's so Love cute, it. <laughs> and it, your hair looks like it's like eight I inches know. shorter. I know. And you can spray it again. I use more the tad hairspray from Oblifica because you can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it and change the style. And, and the hair doesn't get like sticky or like like strong hole. So you have like a very soft, subtle hole that when you brush it out, what I love it is that the hair look like and feel like, like clean. It doesn't look and feel like you have any kind of spray. Michelle this, wants like to bun. know, um, would this be a good style for dancing? Could you, would it hold? Yes. I feel like you it's holding have, pretty well. How you feel it? Yeah. Feel so you well. Feel like it <laughs> And if you stuck a little bit more bobby pins, you put a, like a little more hole because we are changing. We, I'm just using two, but you can use in, you can use in a little bit more. Okay, and could you actually tell us what the spray is again? Joyce wants to know. Basically, uh, we are using the Olifica Siberi Multitask hairspray. It's a spray that holds your hair. If you don't touch it, the whole stay for the rest of the night. But what I love about the spray that this kind of way I can set it up, and if you brush it later, you will feel the hair like you don't have absolutely no spray at all, but you will still have in the wave and the shape that you form. So the, for that reason, I love this spray because you can reuse it and reuse it, and you can put a tone of them, and you never feel like you have any kind of hairspray. Mm -hmm. If you don't brush it the hole will stay like exactly. If you brush it, the wave is stay, but the feeling is like a clean hair. It doesn't okay. feel like sticky or nothing. So Amazing. it's like more like a, we call it multi tat spray because of that, because then you can reuse it in a different way. Okay, I'm gonna show the back one more time because Jackie and Lysine want to see it. Gorgeous. And it really looks like a bob. And we're gonna show you the front too, on the side. So cute! It looks amazing. I love it because she, she is the machine to move the chair around. Know. She knows what she has to I do. See. I love that. So the third style we're gonna do. What is it going to be? 
we are going to do a, a very like more like a fashion ponytail but most of the client you know <laughs> like to have a ponytail and it's easier it's like very easy to do i'm going to show you some technique to do that ponytail that could look a little bit different and and and, that, and I'm, i will show you a technique that you can customize so you can build whatever you want to build and i will show you exactly how you can build different shape on that ponytail it's very simple but very look very like complicated okay. <laughs> that's the best case scenario. you know you know that most of the occasion uh, less in some occasion is more so even they look even it's a simple uh, technique the hair could look like very like sophisticated and luxury so I'm going to show you how you can do that first we have to take all this bobby pin out <laughs> and then uh, we are going to section this hair a little bit. Uh, basically, we are going to do a big section in the top of the ear. So we are going to have this first section here. And we are just to grab it here, just to hold it there so it doesn't bother us. So everybody has been asking what the name of the hairspray is again. So I'm just going to show it really quickly yeah. on camera. No, this one. <laughs> it is multitask hairspray for those wondering from Oblithica. Okay, and now back to the ponytail. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do, to make like a, a rectangular section on the top. This will be the easier way for you. So I'm going to do like a rectangular section on the top. You can place all this section in just one. If you are more fancy and you want to have more wave, you can do this in a couple sections. But because we already did uh, the curls before we begin, oh, yeah. we don't need to do that. But if you want it, you can do it. Feel free. Uh, because of the timing, and we don't want you to be boring on the internet, <laughs> <laughs> we are going to take a shortcut. What do you think about the shortcuts? Love shortcuts. <laughs> you love loves shortcuts. shortcuts? Yeah. So this is the shortcut. We are going to take this section just once, but you can play with it and have it in three different sections. So we are going to use just one section here, and then we are going to do another section beginning at the top of the ear to the front, and we are going to repeat the same in the other side. So basically we are going to work with four sections. One in the top and two in both sides, which is the one, two, three, and then the back will be the four, which will be the, the ponytail. You can decide here if you want the ponytail. This is very important because this is just a simple technique of sectioning that help you to uh, keep uh, the balance. Uh, most clients want to do different hairstyles, but they, 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 the hair doesn't have any balance at all. So a way to have the balance is to always have the like, same kind of sectioning. So always think about the top area, both side and the back. The back can be divided in two, in one, or in three, depending on what you want. In this case, we are going to have just one section in the back. So. You can have this style high, a high ponytail, a medium ponytail, or in a very low ponytail. It's all depend on you. You can have it even a ponytail like asymmetric, right to the side, like this, and you can have it there too. That's another option. Okay. So you can have it in different ways. So you can customize this. So don't worry about how high or, it's not something that it's important, it's more about what do you want to see. So depending on your, you know, your, your, your taste, you can have it in different area. I love asymmetric, so in most of the occasion I do it like lower and asymmetric, but then, then you can do like a braid in the side if you want. It. So I just going to have a higher ponytail. Okay, so we're gonna do a high ponytail. Yeah, great. we are going to do a high ponytail.
Yeah. So we already have this high ponytail. I do this high ponytail because normally that young people they love to have like high ponytail. Look more John, look like hip, you know, look like trendy. And I love it. <laughs> so we can have this one here. Uh, a lower ponytail normally look more classic and an asymmetric look a little bit more like lamb. So it's all depend about what you want and how do you want to look. Already we have this ponytail, very simple. Okay, and then we are going to have the side. With the side, we are going to just grab the size a little bit. She have already the way that we, we did before, so we can use that. Would someone with thinner hair be able to do this style? Yeah, yeah. This is just, it doesn't matter if they have fine hair or not. You and can do the same. Wendy wants to know, was that uh, a plain rubber band or was that a specific kind of hair tie? That's a, a type of a rubber band for hair because it's better. It doesn't uh, damage the hair. Okay. And you can even uh, buy it customized by the color of the client. So do you have it like brown, like more, br like more blonde, like more brunette and, and dark, like black? So, so I'm just going to show everyone yeah. what that looks like. Cool. And then... Uh, here. You can just grab this in the side like this, like around, and uh, just like this. See, and you have this piece that you can let it like that, and we can play with that later. Okay. In summer kitchen, it's good like to have this style like a little bit like like this. I just let her, I don't try to put it on there because it will be like a, a like a big fun here. So I prefer like to have it like this, like more organic. And then we play with that because if it look good, I will let it there. If not, I can just stuck under or do whatever I want. So I just take a little bit with the same spray. She so have like a little bit short hair here. And that's it. Yep. Like that. and like this because you have a blonde more blonde in the end you can play a little bit with the shape so show more with the dark base and you can design thinking about the color too so it's all dependent depending of what you are doing it do you have a, a name for the brand of the rubber band a few people have asked about it uh you know what they I, I just buy it on a beauty supply and have like a came like in uh, in a plastic plastic box and okay. even a box, different boxes some came came in plastic you will see it in the beauty supply it's always they have it and then I grab another piece here and I go like in the top of this too I go once under just once this and grab it with the bobby pins and just go under and that's it and then you can go back because she have short hair here and spray a little bit and just accommodate her like that I'm laughing a little bit because she had like this, like very short. I and I remember just the, you know, the YouTube lady that have like the curl and the curl stay, <laughs> like fall. <laughs> Sounds like something happened here. I don't know. We're going to ask her. <laughs> I don't know too. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know too? <laughs> Was not me. <laughs> but it's funny. Do you remember that? <laughs> no. no? There was a lady that was doing like a like a curl with a Kelly iron, and she was like doing the block, and she was explaining like this. And when she finished, the the whole curls stay in the in the curly iron. No. <laughs> and was almost like this. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to work with this area again, 
and as I did at the beginning, what I'm going to do is, I love this style, is the styling green, Seabury, Oblifica Seabury styling green. I love this because the orange line doesn't weigh the hair down and you can put a little bit of this on your hands and as a, as a hand cream all over in between your finger and then when you do that then you manipulate the hair when you manipulate the hair with that cream take all this small hair and the frizzy out and allow you to manipulate the hair having some control of the, of the section so you, you don't have uh, too much flyaways and everything so i just wrap it and use it all over to the end i brush it a little bit so in that way all the curls that was here before will get together again that, for that reason, I, I, I use that cream. And that cream doesn't allow you to weigh, like, doesn't weigh the hair down. Okay. So you want to have something that won't weigh your hair down for this, yeah. Yeah, That's because great. you need a little bit of that body. And basically here, you can do a lot of weight here. You can put it like all to the side, like this. You can see it in the front. You can place it all to the side and wear like this. So you have a little bit of, of the body here. And then you can just twist. That's an option. See? You can twist and work here under. And then work here under. That could be a nice option. You can just go totally to the to the back and play it in the top of this. Like this. You can tease a little bit this area and place it just right here and blend it with the ponytail in the back. Okay. You can take a big piece, put it on the ponytail with a, a rubber band here, and then the top area in the top of that. You can do a lot of stuff. Even you can put it completely to the side. I just want to show you different way mm -hmm. that you can customize this style. You can dress it totally to the side and like a very uh, a very deep side padding and then you can just put it like under and twist it under like this okay. you can see so look like very fashion you can uh, tape it from this side so you can see it like better so if you go to this then you are going to you can you can do like this too okay. you see and if you want more body, you can just put it, you know, push it to the front and you have a little bit more body. And then you can wrap it up here again in this area. Or you can just put it like here and you can customize it like this. And you have like a little bit like more like this. And then grab it here and you have like a little bit more fashion look. You see? Mm -hmm. So you can do all different stuff here. You can grab it here if you want it, if you if you want this. And then you can still like run in this and have it like more like this. And grab it, still grabbing the hair like around here and put more bobby pin around here. That's an option that you can do. Great. You see? And look very trendy. Mm -hmm. This is more trendy and fashion. See? You grab some of the corner from here and grab it and up. And then you have this like a, a little bit more like a fashion, very like a very cool. statement ponytail. You see? You can do this. And this this looks very hip. Like very very trendy. You can put you can then you know mess a little bit this and put it like this like a little bit like heavier and this look at very like like a very editorial and very like a wrong way a little bit if you if you if, if some of the bobby pin shows you can just grab some of this and go like this to the front and go under and that will erase that 
So you can go like this and go here and then go down and you erase, it, erase that. And then you can have this more trendy uh, hairstyle. See? This is an option. It's a very more trendy and not everybody will love to have something so fashion, but some of the, you know, people right now, more modern people, would love to do that. Beautiful. So this is our third and final look. See, the show is closes in two minutes and we are closing <laughs> two. Perfect. <laughs> this is more trendy, it's different, but you can, you know, wear it. You can wear this. Gorgeous. Like this. See? So let's see it turn, you know, you can kind of turn it this way. Amazing. Wendy says she loves it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so this has been Ivan. From Oblifica and Margo, our wonderful model. Hi guys. This is This is our staff here. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>